so today we're gonna make tomato sauce. And I know what you're thinking, I can just get it from a jar and it's cheaper and way easier, but by making this homemade version, not only can it be as easy, cheaper, and it's more delicious. So we're gonna start by uh, getting some onions and sauteing them. I'm gonna come up there. And you wanna have a heated skillet, so it makes that sizzle sound, because that's the best sound you could ever get. Just kinda push it around. And you're gonna let that saute for a minute. Now within this mixture, I also have uh, diced uh, garlic. So you can also use garlic salt or uh, garlic that's pre-cut in a jar, uh, whatever works for you, whatever you have on hand. So while this uh, sizzles a little bit, I'm just gonna tell you that this tomato sauce costs about $7 to make. So I'd say it gives you four servings and that's only about $1.75 a person. So this is a great sauce to do. Now, something cool about this dish is if you have leftover wine that's no longer drinkable, which means about three days old, you can actually use it and pour some into the onions and it'll make a richer flavor. And it also helps deglaze the pan, which means uh, that the little bits of onion that stick on the pan are gonna lift up so it's easier to clean up. So for the wine, we're just gonna put about a third cup in. And now while this goes, you want it to reduce down a bit, so you're gonna just light it a little more. So now while we have that cooking, we're gonna get our tomato sauce. So I just have canned tomatoes. You can get any variety. Uh, I have crushed. Uh, this one says fire roasted. We're just gonna put that in there. Just plop it in. Do the other one. Now you're gonna let that boil for about five minutes, just so all the tomatoes get heated up. So the next step, after five minutes have passed, you're gonna just turn off your heat, and then take the pan of onions with the red wine and garlic, and just pour it on in. All right, give this a quick little stir. Now comes the fun part. You can really put anything you want in this uh, tomato sauce. Uh, today I have some uh, pitted olives as well as capers. I like my sauces really uh, salty. So I'm just gonna pour this into the sauce and I'm just gonna let it keep cooking. Okay. Oh, I already smell it. it smells amazing. There. Give it a quick stir. Now you pretty much wanna have this sauce cooking for about 30 minutes so all the flavors develop. Um, I'm not adding any additional salt because I have the salt from the capers and the olives, but if you're foregoing those, you should throw in some. So the next thing that I recently found is uh, chopped basil that's in the freezer section and I got it from Trader Joe's. But what's pretty cool about this is if you don't have any fresh basil or fresh herbs on hand, you can grab some of this stuff. And so I have some, and there's about 20 cubes in here, and it's $2, so it's about 10 cents. And we're just gonna toss some of this fresh basil into the pot. And also, same goes with what you're putting in here. If you don't want basil, you can put oregano, you can put cilantro, really whatever tickles your fancy. Stir that on in. Now, last but not least, you can either leave your tomato sauce just like that, or if you want an extra creamier uh, version, you can add cheese. And I have some feta cheese. Goat cheese would work, work great as well. I have about one cup of feta. So I'm just gonna pour this on in. It's really gonna give a warmer body to it. Just nice and delicious. Gives you a creamy flavor. You can't go wrong with cheese. Love it in everything. So as you're stirring this, now once it's all stirred through, you're gonna really just put, uh, you are gonna reduce the heat a little because you don't want this boiling over or splattering everywhere. So just do it like medium low heat. And you're gonna keep that on for about 10, 15 minutes. Now after about 15 minutes are up, just take your lid off, have taken off the heat, 
and you have awesome pasta sauce. So I'm just going to show you how beautiful it is by placing in this clear bowl. And now you can ladle this on top of chicken, fish, or pasta. Uh, eat it by the spoonful. Whatever you like. There you go. Really good, and just as cheap as your lame sauce of spaghetti from a jar.